Hello and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. Today it is chilly, it is rainy, it is definitely fall here in North Carolina, heading towards winter. And um, I decided I was gonna make some hot chocolate for my family. So today we're gonna make hot chocolate from uh, the Brown Sugar Kitchen Cookbook by Tanya Holland. This will serve eight, so we will have some left over and you can make it ahead, refrigerate it in an air, airtight container for up to a week. So we'll have hot chocolate again sometime soon. We're gonna start here, but most of the cooking is actually gonna be on the stove, obviously. But I'm gonna put together the first part of the mixture here. And we have milk. This is supposed to be whole milk. We do not have any whole milk. I've got mostly 2% with some um, half and half added. Not a lot, just because I didn't want to open another uh, thing of milk. Um, because I didn't worry about it too much because there's a lot of heavy cream in here. So it's, it's going to be creamy enough, I think. I'm not too concerned. So there we go. That is all of our liquid. There's actually nothing on my finger. Um, and to this, we are going to add uh, some sugar. This is just plain uh, granulated sugar and not a whole lot of it either. Uh, and we're gonna add a cinnamon stick and we have a vanilla bean pod, which I think I've done this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and split on my cutting board and use my knife to scrape out the seeds. I'll put those in here. Get the other side, there we go. And then we're just gonna put the pod in here too. Um, so now we're gonna take this over here, we're gonna bring it to a boil, uh, and then we're gonna add some more stuff. So we'll bring you over there in just a second. So in about five minutes, we're getting a few bubbles popping around the edge. I have it on medium high heat on my stove, um, but I would not call this a boil yet. So we're just waiting for it to boil. Yes, we wanna be very careful and watch this because milk will boil over very quickly. Definitely seeing some bubbles popping. So I think we're just about there. It's hard with milk. It's really hard. You don't want it to burn on the pan. But you want it to be warm enough to melt the chocolate and everything that we're about to put in. Okay. I'm gonna call this a boil. I do not want it to boil over and it is getting faster and faster. So now I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. So I think we'll stick with two on my stove and we're going to whisk in, we have some cocoa powder. Cocoa powder won't mix into cold liquid. Just FYI, that's why probably why we wait until after it's boiled for that. This is um, from Trader Joe's, nothing super special. And then some chopped chocolate. I just decided to go with um, bittersweet, she does say. I decided to go with um, these Girardelli chips. They're bittersweet and I didn't have to chop chocolate because chopping, ooh, that's hot. Chopping chocolate is super messy. And this is also super messy. So now with it on a simmer, we're gonna try to get all of that chocolate melted and that um, cocoa mixed in. With a whisk, this is a lot of hot chocolate way more than we need for today, but the kids will be absolutely happy to have more later. It won't take very long to, uh, to make. Oops. 
As always, I'm making a mess. After this, we're going to wait for 15 minutes, and then we're going to strain it, and that is it. I'd say this is pretty good, pretty much melted. So now what we're going to do is just turn off. Yes, and as I continue to whisk. All right. We're going to turn off this burner, and we're going to let this sit off the heat. Well, with the heat off, I'm not actually going to move it. It'll be fine here um, for 15 minutes. So we'll be back in 15 minutes to show you what we do then. So this has been sitting on the stove for 15 minutes off the heat. Well, with the heat off underneath it. And now we're going to strain it. It looks like it has a few little bits of stuff and it did have a, um, uh, a like a skin on top. That happens all the time. But the pan is still pretty hot. So uh, yeah, I'm going to need this. So this is going to be super fun. You got bad timing, girl. All right, so. Here we go. So I'm just gonna sort of get as much of the liquid out as, as I can. It looks like some of the solids from the chocolate um, didn't melt, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. But there we go. Got all the liquid. I'm going to get a clean spatula to scrape the bottom. Just to get all of that good chocolate in there. There we go. So we just strained this into a pitcher that we can put in the refrigerator when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and serve some for the family. I'm just going to pour, I think I'm going to pour one for you and then I'll do the rest later. So I'm, I think we're going to do, it seems really rich. I'm going to do pretty small cups here. And she says to turn, to, to serve it with marshmallows or freshly whipped cream, but I'm going to cheat and use this ready whip can stuff because it's easier. And there's no place that tells you how to whip cream in, in this recipe, so I feel justified. There we go. We'll let you know what we think in just a minute. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched me make hot chocolate from Tanya Holland's Brown Sugar Kitchen Cookbook. And we really liked this one. Um, I've made a couple of other hot chocolate recipes, uh, at least one. Um, and she said this reminds her of Paris, of the uh, Chocolat Show, um, which is usually a very uh, thicker, a very thick uh, chocolatey, um, hot chocolate from that they serve in France. And I think that one of the recipes I did was from um, David Leibovitz's Drinking French. So I'll link that up there. Um, and it was very similar. It was a nice thick uh, hot chocolate, which I like. Um, it was super chocolatey. Uh, it had a hint of cinnamon and vanilla, but it was just all around. It was not overpowering such that the kids actually liked it. Sometimes when there's a little bit too much of that stuff, they don't, but they liked this one. They liked it really well. Um, and they just had, we had some left over and we reheated it tonight and they had some more. So that means it was definitely good. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you tried this out and, um, if you enjoyed watching me make this please hit the subscribe button and come back and watch me make something else next week.